let's try if we can um, solve uh, this force of for this system of force uh, to draw the uh, shear force and uh, bending moment diagram for uh, the system as you can see it's a, a 9 meter long beam with uh, a uniformly distributed load of 20 kilonewton <coughs> excuse me per meter and uh, a 30 kilonewton load acting at 6 meter from uh, the point A and you also have uh, another load of 40 kilonewton from uh, uh, from A at uh, 7.5 meter so in order to calculate the uh, the, the uh, bending moment and shear force diagram first of all you will need to assess the reactions at A and B now to to calculate the reactions at A and B, you will need to convert this uniformly distributed load to a point load and assume that it acts as a point load at the mid span of the length over which the force is acting. So the total load of the UDL is Uh, 20 kilonewton times 9 because it's acting over 9 meter so that is 180 kilonewton and uh, that will be acting at 4.5 meter from either A or B or at the mid span of the B so you can uh, draw <coughs> excuse me the effective load of this uh, UDL uh, say we, we, we draw it here and uh, let's assume that uh, the uh, load is acting as a point load at uh, uh, 4 meter here oh my my Okay, so that's acting as a point load at uh, 180 kilonewton here. So what you have now is a, a, a force system like this. You have a, a 180 here, a 30 here, and a 40 here. So you have your RA and uh, your RB. This is 180, this is 30, and uh, this is 40. Uh, this is 4.5, this is 6, and uh, this is 7.5. So, let's uh, calculate the reactions at A and B. So, taking moment about A, we know the summation of forces uh, about uh, any axis should be zero, and the summation of moments about uh, any point should be zero for the system to be in equilibrium. So taking moment about A, that should be zero, that is summation of moments about A equal to zero, and uh, that will be uh, 180 acting downward creating a clockwise moment, 30 acting downward again creating a clockwise moment, 40 acting downward again creating a clockwise moment, when looking from A and you also have RB acting upward creating an anti-clockwise moment. So you have 4.5 times 180 plus 6 times 30 plus 7.5 times 40 is equal to 9 RB or RB is equal to I'm just using the calculator here plus six times thirty plus seven point five times forty. So RB equal to one forty three point three three. You also have another condition, summation of forces is equal to zero. Therefore, Ra plus Rb should be equal to the sum of all these forces, which is 250. Therefore, Ra 
is equal to 250 minus 143.33. Which is 106.67. So now you have 106.67 at RA and uh, RB 143.33. Now we can draw an equivalent system of that force system. If I just draw, if I just continue, uh, so I'm just going to draw uh, an equivalent beam for that force system here. R A R B twenty per meter thirty and forty. This is at nine seven point five hundred six. 106 and 143. Okay, so we've got the reactions at A and B. Now, uh, as we discussed in the previous problems, we need to take sections at uh, each or between each force changes. Uh, before going uh, for the uh, bending moment diagram, we need to calculate the shear force uh, diagram for this case. That again you, you need to assess uh, based on uh, sections. Uh, so um, we will start drawing the shear force diagram. It should be easy. We have done quite a few problems um, like this. Uh, you have your RA 106.67 acting upward so you can have that that is 106.67 so that's your RA at point A and then what you have is your first load which is acting between 0 and 6 and at this point the force will be 0 at Six at point at, at six meter that will be 120. So at, at a six meter you will have 120 uh, uh, load. So because you have 106 here, that will be a straight line going all the way down to 120. So that will be 106 minus 120 because it's acting in the opposite direction. So you will have minus 13.33 at point at 6 meter. So this will be minus 13.33. How do we get that? Because it's acting over 6 meter, 20 kilonewton per meter. So the total load is 120. You have 106 here. So 120 is acting in the opposite direction of the 106 kilonewton or the R reaction A. So that is opposite direction. So you subtract 120 from this and you get minus 13.33. It should be a straight line. Uh, and then at point the, uh, 6 meter here, you have another load of 30 acting downward. So that will be again going down and minus 13.33 plus 30 or in the same direction 30, 30 you will have minus 43.33. And then what you have is another load of 20 kilonewton per meter acting for a meter and a half. So that will be 20 and 30 kilonewton further downward. So that will be minus 
0.33 that is at 0.33 so you have minus 73.33 and then at that point you have a further load of 40 so that will be going further down that is minus 113.33 and then you have another 3 meter here, so, uh, a meter and a half here, this is 1.5 meter, 20 kilo newton per meter, so that will be 30 kilo newton, so that will be further down minus 143.33 and then you reach your end point here where you will have your reaction at B acting upward that is minus 143.33 therefore you reach zero here we will continue this in the next video you continue the same problem in the next video